This lifeguard tower is the only functioning tower on Maracas Bay, a popular destination for tourists and locals. With students on vacation and many people venturing to the beaches on the weekends, lifeguards are cautioning the general public to stay away from the North Coast beaches. Speaking to CNC3 News Patrol Captain and lifeguard Carl Hernandez said that lifeguards have been facing challenges in executing their duties for over 17 years. He highlighted the main issue is the delay in receiving their salaries, and he is not sure what will happen on the weekend. These fellas here are getting some bad news right now, so I don't know what's going on weekend. I really don't know what's going on weekend. I will come. I can't talk for everybody because they have a whole fortnight to fix up the pay. The lifeguards also placed placards in the sand at the beach. Mr. Hernandez said it seems lifeguards are being treated unfairly. How much a lifeguard can take? Is the same lifeguard that working. If you had to come out for call out, it's the same lifeguard. So eventually, I will not watch them. I'm not disappointed in the lifeguards, really, if they income at any time, because I know at some time they will be charged sick or some kind of thing. Mr. Hernandez also called on Prime Minister Dr. Keith Rowley to show care for lifeguards as they are being crippled due to a lack of resources. I want to advise the Prime Minister. If you're treating your people so, how could we be comfortable with you? Reach out to people. We live as people too. Right now we have nothing. We have no vehicles. Yes, go on by there. The jet ski had a problem. That and all, they refused to carry on service. CNC3 News attempted to contact National Security Minister Fitzgerald Hines. On the issue, however, calls went unanswered. Otto Carrington, CNC3 News. This is a hazard for every public. I've just been over this board with the mail facing up and down.